What's going on today, guys? I received in the mail today a new heart rate chest strap. And, uh, and the reason I ordered a new one was because I wanted to get um, into Zwift a little more heavily this winter than I have in previous years. And, um, and what I found with my whole Zwift setup, um, I've been running a, uh, I have an original Wahoo kicker and I've been using my original uh, Garmin heart rate um, monitor chest strap and that all connects to my uh, laptop. So um, I've had to run Amp Plus um, connectivity into my laptop and um, it's just taking a long time to get that all set up and uh, you know like I have to drag my laptop down the stairs and I have um, you know like an Amp Plus cord I need to use to uh, receive that signal into my computer. Um, because uh, while the kicker will do both Bluetooth and Amp Plus, my heart rate monitor wouldn't. So, you know, you're doing the events and they want you to have your heart rate monitor, especially for um, Zwift power and stuff like that. So anyway, what I decided to do was go on AliExpress and have a look around and see what kind of uh, inexpensive Bluetooth heart rate monitor chest strap I could find. And, uh, and I came across one and um, I just received it and you can check out the links below. It is actually, I've seen it on Amazon as well and um, I think if you did probably like the, you know, a Bluetooth heart rate monitor um, search, you could come across this, um, this particular brand. Um, but anyway, let's dive into this. Let's see what it looks like and then uh, I'm going to see how well it does connect um, I'm hoping what I can do is versus lugging the whole laptop downstairs is use uh, Bluetooth and use the um, the smartphone app, right? So the smartphone should be able to pick up this Bluetooth signal and it'll pick up the uh, kicker Bluetooth signal. It'll pick up my uh, cadence, my Wahoo cadence Bluetooth signal and be able to run that way. And that way it'll be uh, much uh, more easy to set up. And, uh, and I can do uh, Zwift much more often because, you know, the time to set up is, uh, you know, the headache isn't there. So anyway, let's dive in to see what this guy looks like. So I was actually uh, pretty impressed. I'd have to double check the um, shipping or the, the day that I ordered this because um, I was expecting that it was shipped uh, through ePacket. You can see that uh, right up there, right? Um, but I think I only got this in like a week and a half, which is pretty good timing um, coming from China. But um, if you are looking for something, choose ePacket, especially um, for overseas shipping, because that's usually the fastest. Um, but it feels like I have got a, um, well, it's saying here, a wireless heart rate, Bluetooth 4.0 gigahertz wireless heart rate monitor. And you can see there. Uh, so it is this, uh, I don't know what, Sun Ding brand of uh, heart rate monitor. Um, so it's, again, it wasn't anything special. Like I, I think I spent under 15 bucks Canadian to get this, um, but it did have some pretty good reviews. Um, so I'm interested to see what uh, this turns out to be like. And, uh, and so there we go. So that is my new Bluetooth um, heart rate monitor. And as I mentioned, I'm going to see how this uh, connects and hopefully I can get this, my whole Zwifting setup um, running pure Bluetooth this winter. And like I said, it should be able to make my, uh, my whole you know, process and setup time much quicker this way. So anyway, that's what that guy looks like. And you can see that. And let me see if I can hold up both of these guys together. Uh, it is a fair bit, um, well, th this part of the, um, of the of the strap is is a little bit thicker than the uh, and then the Garmin is. I'm see if I can hold that up for you there. Um, what else can I say about it? It is a uh, it feels a f actually fairly sturdy. You know, like this part from here to here is a rubber. And it looks like I can probably remove this um, band pretty easily, and uh, and I can. So it actually looks uh, decent, and uh, I don't know if there's batteries or not in this thing. Um, I think it said it came with, uh, we'll find out. I do have extra batteries around, so I should be able to get this up and running. So anyway, that is the unboxing part of this video. And uh, let's see how it connects to my smartphone and then to Zwift. Stay tuned. 
All right, what's up guys? It has been a couple days since I did that initial unboxing of this Sunding heart rate monitor. Um, and unfortunately what happened was that I initially, I had unpackaged it, I put it on, I came downstairs and I was hoping that it would just connect um, quite quickly to my uh, phone and I would be able to use it uh, like I wanted to on Zwift. Unfortunately, I didn't quite uh, make that happen on the first try. However, I have uh, since uh, kind of worked around or done a little bit of a workaround to get it to work. Um, so let me show you how that works now. And, uh, and now that it is connected, it is working obviously as expected. And, um, and yeah, so anyway, <laughs> here we are. Let's continue this uh, review, unboxing, video, connecting video. Uh, right now. Okay, so as I mentioned, I wanted to buy this to be able to use uh, Zwift on my smartphone uh, just as a more easily manageable option versus lugging my whole computer downstairs and setting it up that way. Um, unfortunately, when you're doing um, events like uh, when you want to be recorded on Zwift Power, for example, um, they do want heart rate data uh, just to, uh, you know, confirm like you're not cheating and stuff like that. Um, and I, as mentioned, I have just the original Garmin Ant Plus Bluetooth, um, sorry, it's not Bluetooth, just the Ant Plus heart rate monitor, uh, which I would have to get some kind of adapter to use it with my, with my smartphone. Um, but anyway, here we are. So I'm just, uh, I just launched the, uh, ju just launched the app here. And uh, if I go in and you'll see that it's going to connect, um, hopefully, <laughs> as I mentioned, to all of my sensors. So I am using a, um, an original uh, Wahoo Kicker and uh, I have the Wahoo Cadence sensor and uh, I should have the uh, heart rate monitor pop up here as well. So there you go, right? Like that is actually the first thing to connect and uh, that's actually kind of surprising. I'm wondering where my, oh, there it is, okay. So you can see that I have connected to the uh, power source, my uh, kicker there, and this a controllable, obviously, and the heart rate monitor. Let me just, uh, oops, sorry, click on that. So um, what the uh, heart rate monitor shows up as is Nordic uh, underscore HRM um, heart rate monitor, and uh, it, again, it works perfectly now. So originally in the packaging, the heart rate monitor was supposed to be used with their app. And uh, let me just get out of this here and I will show you what the app is called because I actually had to um, get rid of the app on my phone to be able to make it or at least make it seem like it worked. So let me just uh, find the um, app here. So the app was called, if you can see it there, it's called Joy-Coon Joy Light. And uh, in the packaging, it recommends you download it and I downloaded it and it worked. The um, this the heart rate monitor connected to it, but I couldn't use it for Zwift. And I thought maybe just the um, you know like the the Zwift wasn't able. It wasn't a compatible heart rate monitor, and I kind of thought I wasted um, you know like ten twelve bucks on this heart rate monitor on this inexpensive heart rate monitor. Um, a couple days later, and uh, and the reason I found out that this might work was I tried to pair a new um, Garmin a head sensor to the Garmin Connect um, app, and the the um, Garmin sensor was not um, being recognized on my phone. And actually, I realized that no, you know, I couldn't add any new Bluetooth uh, connections to my phone. So I thought that was kind of weird, and. Um, you know, having thought that this was the most recent thing I had downloaded and actually had uh, Bluetooth working, um, I actually deleted this app from my phone. And immediately my phone recognized the Garmin, um, you know, the Garmin Edge heart rate, um, I'm sorry, the um, head unit, the GPS uh, computer. And so I thought, well, you know what, if it's recognizing, now that this app was deleted off my phone, and it's recognizing the Garmin, maybe, maybe it will recognize the uh, Bluetooth heart rate monitor. So I actually came downstairs, I, uh, I put back on the heart rate monitor and, uh, and I got it to work. So I was, um, yeah, I don't know exactly what the process is between the first time not having the app, this app on my phone and then um, installing it and then 
deleting it off my phone, but it, uh, for some reason, as soon as I deleted this app off of my phone, um, the heart rate monitor worked and it was recognized by Zwift. Now I should mention that I have been able to connect the heart rate monitor to the Wahoo Fitness, not the workout tracker, but the uh, Wahoo Utility um, app. I do have that downloaded. And again, in the um, pamphlet, in the manuals with the heart rate monitor, it does say that this is a compatible uh, device. And again, when I first uh, unboxed it and actually had to change the battery in the, uh, in the heart rate monitor, I was able to connect to this uh, app on my phone so I knew that there was a Bluetooth, um, you know, a signal be being um, being broadcast by the heart rate monitor. It just wasn't connecting for some reason to Zwift. So again, like I said, I ended up going um, and deleting this Joy-Kun Lite app um, off my phone. And uh, and uh, as I mentioned, it does work on uh, on Zwift now. Um, no problem. So let me just uh, hop back into uh, Zwift here. Right, and you can see here, let me just uh, give the uh, pedals another spin here. You got your cadence, power, heart rate monitor, and everything. So, uh, for $12, like I said, um, I would have to double check the, um, you know, double check my order number, but for under 15 bucks, let's say, I finally have a Bluetooth heart rate monitor. Now, I actually, just before I started recording, I just wanted to have a look at the order and it doesn't actually say anything about the heart rate monitor being amp plus and uh, and that may be true i haven't been able to um connect this particular heart rate monitor to my garmin 510 um edge unit um which operates unfortunately doesn't uh this heart rate monitor is bluetooth 4.0 and i don't believe that the um garmin 510 will um pick up that signal um but like I said, I wanted to get this heart rate monitor for Zwifting in my basement on my smartphone. And, uh, and so far, I'm actually sure, not sure why my uh, controllable option is not picking up here, but um, I am able to do that. So uh, all in all, I'm, I'm fairly happy once I got through the initial um, bugs of getting it connected to my smartphone and on Zwift in particular, um, I am able to use this and, uh, and yeah, so that is the Sunding heart rate monitor, and I'll leave a, a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. They are available on AliExpress, where is where I ordered it. I also noticed it on uh, Amazon, um, so you can check out those links below. But uh, yeah, so there we are. I am able to start Zwifting. I'm able to uh, give her a, um, a spin here, and uh, and being able to do it uh, with my smartphone and having everything connect to my smartphone is so much easier then lugging my laptop downstairs and getting that all connected and stuff like that. So I'm pretty happy now that it's working. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Have you tried any of these uh, inexpensive Bluetooth uh, heart rate monitors? What is your uh, Zwift setup like? Leave me a, a comment below. And while you're down there, uh, it would be greatly appreciated if you hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up button. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching and I will see you later.